Can we see down? No interruptions. Open dialogue without judging. Dope discussions. Dope discussions. Talking real raw. Ain't no cutting. Open dialogue without judging. Dope discussions. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Today, we're going to be talking about three things that happen after a man rejects a woman. Okay. But first, we're going to go ahead and take a swig of our deliciously healthy alpha juice. And this one goes by the name of Maja, okay, which stands for Make America Juice Again. And you know what? I'm not mad at that. Hold on. Oh, that is good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love a nice, delicious, fresh, healthy beverage. Y'all go and check out that good old Alpha Juice, and you can use my code Crown Head for a five dollar discount. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this dope discussion. All right, you guys. So the first thing that we have on our list, as far as what happens when a man rejects a woman, is she goes into denial. Okay. Now, you guys. The reason why so many women will go into denial when she is rejected. Again, I, excuse me, you guys. I got to take another swig. Hold on. A woman will go into denial because we are taught a lot of times that we are perfect. We can have any man that we so choose, any man that we desire. Again, I am the prize. I know you guys have heard that phrase before. So can you imagine what a woman goes through when a man tells her, no, thank you, love. Enjoy. No, I'm good. She can go into complete and total shock because it's like, what? Hold on. What? No. Do you know who I am? Do you know what I am? I am a strong, beautiful, powerful woman. Who are you to tell me that I can't have you or I can't have access to you? We're in denial, right? And let me go ahead and dive deeper into this one because I know a lot of you guys have dealt with this as far as rejection with a woman is concerned. Have you ever been in the presence of a female and she's all up on you and you're like, no, chill out, relax. I want to get to know you first. I want to really pick your mind, pick your brain, relax, chill. And you deny her or you reject her in that way to where, again, you're trying to get her to pace herself. I'm not just trying to hurry up and get into the sheets with you. I'm not just trying to hurry up and kick you. Like, I, you. like you genuinely are like, no, let's pump the brakes. One thing that she can do is say, he must be gay. Again, when a woman has told you that or said that, that is a part of her being in denial because she cannot fathom the thoughts of a man telling her to relax or to chill or no. Something has to be off. Something has to be wrong with you, right? 
in order for you to deny me or reject me, something has to be wrong with you, not me. That is a part of a denial as well. When she starts to, you know, just pull things out of thin air, like, okay, well, he must be this, or, you know, he must be that, or, you know, maybe he doesn't have any experience, right? Uh, they can go into the whole, you know, you must be, you know, a little small down there. They can go into, again, the gay piece. Uh, they can go into, you don't, you must not know what you're doing, or they could even say things like, oh, he's, he must be intimidated by me. Again, these are all signs of a female being in denial because, again, I can't fathom the thought or the idea of a man rejecting me. So she will go into denial. Something must be wrong with you, right? So, fellas, if you're dealing with a woman, and, you know, you tell her to uh, pump the brakes or you let her know you, that you're not interested the whole nine, she could very well go into denial and start just reaching thing, reaching for things out of thin air to just try to justify you not wanting her. And again, a lot of ego can tie into this. But at the end of the day, a lot of women just cannot handle rejection. And so what we'll do is we'll go into complete denial thinking that, you know, it must be something that is off of you and not me. Now, let me go ahead and say this because I feel like it is important for me to let my sisters know this. OK, just because a man does not want you, does not desire you or is just not ready to do certain things and maybe you're ready and willing to do does not mean that it's something off or something wrong with him. It could be that he's just genuinely not interested in you. I know that could hurt your ego, could hurt your feelings, or it could mean that he just wants to take it slow. He really wants to establish a genuine connection with you first before he starts to indulge or engage. So don't take it personally. Men get rejected all the damn time and they are expected to just suck it up and eat it up. So get in the habit of doing the same thing. All right. And with that being said, let's move it along to the second thing on our list. Now, the second thing that we have on our list out of the three things that happen when a man rejects a woman is she starts stalking and chasing you. Let me sip my alpha juice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, I don't know what this is about, but when a man de denies us access, right? He denies our advances. He does not want anything to do with us, whatever the case is. When a man rejects a woman, something is triggered within us that makes us consumed with your every move. It is something within us that makes us in a twisted way, want you and desire you more because it's like, damn, I'm not used to rejection. I'm not used to a man telling me no. Now let's be clear, you guys, and let's be real. A lot of times when it comes to women, you know, men really don't put up much of a fight when it comes to us. You know, I just got to be honest. A lot of men, you guys are easy when it comes to like sex or just want to have a good time. Like you guys really don't have much of a boundary when it comes to those things. So when a man does and he's just not easily enticed or he's just not easily persuaded or, you know, he makes himself seem as though he's a little bit more exclusive or um, calculated, reserved, things along those lines. It really intrigues us as a woman. It makes us want to figure him out, right? Because again, what about him makes him so special to reject me? So now I want you more. Now I have to stalk you to figure you out. Now you're like this puzzle that I have got to piece and put together, you know? And this could happen so easily. Trust me, I've seen it. It's like, oh, girl, like, can you believe, can you believe that so-and-so told me, you know, he was okay and he doesn't really see me like that or, you know, he's good on me and all. Could you believe that? Oh my gosh, like so many other men would die to have me on their arm or so many other men, you know, they would fiend for me to approach them or talk to them or whatever the case is, but he had the nerve to tell me no. It again, triggers something within us as women that really wants to make us figure you out, crack your code and get in with you because you have placed yourself in a whole different lane. Other men, again, no real fight for that. 
It doesn't matter. I'm going to be honest with you as your little big sister. It doesn't matter how unattractive the woman is. It doesn't matter how for the streets a lot of females are. You know, in, in, in a lot of cases, when a woman is throwing themselves at a man or, you know, just presenting herself to be ready to go, a lot of marriage is going to let us say, okay, cool. Doesn't mean that you're going to take her seriously or you're going to get into a relationship. But a lot of guys, you know, they don't mind a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, good time. So when a woman feels like you're not that tight, when so many other men are, that sets you completely apart. Again, that's new. That's different. And so you got to know that if you reject a woman, especially considering the fact that a lot of us do not get rejected like that, especially by men, we're going to be all over you. We're going to be on your body, sir, because we have to figure out what makes you so special. Out of all the men that will take me with open arms, what makes you want to exclude and, and, and cut yourself off from me? What makes you better than them? What makes me not good enough for you? Again, this is where the stalking and chasing ensues. Because I have to crack your code. I have to figure this out. Because again, I got a lot of ego going on. And it could be a little bit of denial. What's going on with you? So this is how a female can start stalking and chasing you when you reject her. And I know you guys have probably experienced that before. So it's like, God, dog, I told her no. I told her I was not interested. I told her this. I told her that. You gotta, y'all really have to understand when it comes to women, we hardly ever get rejected, especially if we are making it known that we want a man. You know what I mean? Like, again, even if he doesn't want to be with us seriously a long term, like a lot of men are not going to turn down a little bit of cat, okay? And so when you do, it's like, what? Wow. Now I'm on you because I got to figure you out. So that is the second thing on our list that happens when a man rejects a woman. Now, let's get into the number three. So you guys, the third and the last thing that we have on our list as far as what happens when a man rejects a woman is she sulks and studies the women he likes. Now, It's natural for us as human beings to feel disappointed, gloomy, a little sad when somebody that we liked or somebody that we were interested in is not interested in us back. Okay. So a woman could very well, you know, fall into this doom and gloom type of mood or energy to where it's like, oh, I'm so sad. Why didn't he like me? Is it because I'm not this? Is it because I'm not that? Huh? Oh, right. Woe is me. Wah, wah, wah. Again, completely natural, normal as human beings to have our feelings hurt. Okay. But the second part of this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Now, you, you ladies out here would not want to admit this, but I'm going to tell my brothers right now, this is exactly what a lot of y'all do when a man rejects you. Fellas, let me, let me tell y'all something, your little big sister. Y'all remember how I told y'all earlier, a lot of women cannot handle rejection because a lot of us are not used to being rejected. Well, once we are rejected, again, something within us is a little bit triggered. And what I now want to do is do a little bit of research. I need to figure out what is it that you do like? What type of women do you prefer? What type of women do you want to be with? So what a lot of us will do is we'll go on your Instagram. We'll go on your Facebook. We'll go on your TikTok, whatever social media you have, and we'll go and we'll scope out the women that you are, you know, entertaining. The ones that uh, like your picture and that you comment back on, you know, the we'll, we'll start to see what type of women that you're posted up with. You know, what type of women are you liking as far as their posts or their pictures? You know, all of that. And because we have to secretly become and morph into that type a of female okay this is why a lot of females after rejection will start to study the women and again it could even go into stalking those women oh i see he likes this type of chick well let me be like her and let me outdo her and let me let me let me let me i know y'all seen that before 
And I'm like, damn, why, why are you checking up on, on all the women that I like? Or why are you, why am I always seeing her entertain or try to be buddy, buddy or befriend the females that maybe I'm entertaining or whatever the case is like, what's up with that? Right. Well, what's up with that is this fellas. She liked you and she sees that you like her. And so what she wants to do is to be like her so that you can like her. Are you following a little bit, sis? I know it's twisted. It's a little bit off the chain and willy nilly, but that's what's going on. Right. Because we have to then become what you like. If you're going to reject me, let me figure out who you do like so that I can become her and that you can come back to me. Again, uh, let me go ahead and tell my sisters this. Come here. Let me slip again. <sighs> Ladies. If a man does not like you. For who you are. If he's not interested in you. Do not try to morph into somebody else that he does like. Because let me tell y'all something. It's only a matter of time before that mask falls off. And then he has to be stuck with you. And there's no more heartbreaking, disappointing feeling than knowing that who you naturally are is somebody that the person that you really like is not interested in. It's like, damn, the moment that I really want, I really want to be myself or the moment that, you know, I just want to do what's naturally coming to me. I turn him off or he's uninterested or he wants to go away. Like, oh, that will hurt you more than just being rejected. Right. Being up close and personal with somebody that you have to fool into liking you, fool into being with you. The moment that any ounce of the real you starts to show his face and he doesn't like that or he's turned off by it or he rejects that, that's going to hurt even worse. So you might as well go and find somebody else that likes you for who you naturally and really are. You can build better that way. You can have something a lot more sustainable and maintainable that way. But faking it until you make it, it's never going to work. Not when it comes to relationships. Those are the three things that happen when a man rejects a woman. We will go into denial, okay? We will start stalking and chasing you and or the woman that you're with. And we'll become extremely sad and gloomy and all of that. And then we'll ultimately become private investigators and trying to figure out the women that you do like so we can become them. And again, ladies, don't do that, okay? But y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And again, do not forget to head on down to that link below and go to alphajuiceco.com and get your deliciously healthy, refreshing juices, you guys. I love this stuff. And did I mention that it's healthy for you? Okay, go and get that. And again, be sure to use our discount code of crown head, okay, for your $5 off. And I'll see you guys in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace.